Following our discussion on work, uh, now I want to concentrate on the internal energy. And what is the formal definition of internal energy? Basically, when we talk about the internal energy of a microscopic system, we are referring to its total energy when viewed from the center of mass reference frame. Uh, so this is the formal statement. The internal energy of a macroscopic system is its total energy of its particles in the center of mass reference frame. And uh, just like potential energy is defined with respect to a center, uh, we can always talk about uh, the internal energy in reference to a standard macro state. So um, a reference macro state, for example, this could be the ground state, uh, A will give us a mean internal energy Ea bar, then delta E bar, which is the change in the mean internal energy in reference to this uh, macrostate energy is going to be uh, relevant. So instead of talking about the internal energy as an absolute value, uh, we can talk about it as a relative value and this re uh, it can be relative to a reference macrostate A. So if we want to uh, measure the internal energy or changes in the internal energy rather because the change is more relevant, uh, one thing we can do is electrical uh, measurement. And this is basically what we discussed in the case of uh, determining um, work, electrical work done on a system. And uh, in this, in the electrical work example, we have a reading on the thermometer, uh, that's the length of the column. So if we go back to the electrical work example, uh, you can see that we have a thermometer here and we're reading the length of the column. And by doing some electrical work on the system, we change the, uh, the macro state of the system um, by adding uh, some, doing some electrical work. So basically before we start the experiment, we can have a reading of a standard macro state that is the mean internal energy uh, that is going to be measured at macro state A. And corresponding to this uh, mean internal energy, we have a reading L sub A in the thermometer. And this is basically uh, before the switch S is closed. And we can have a reading uh, after we turn the switch on and uh, leave it on for a while and then uh, close it. Uh, the, uh, the total amount of electrical work done, if you remember, is going to be uh, given by um, the potential difference we're applying, the electromotive force, multiplied by the charge that's going to flow through the circuit, where the, the charge that flows through the circuit will be given by the current that flows in the circuit, multiplied by the time interval in which the current flows and we will have a new 
column reading L. So uh, by doing this for different values of delta T, we can basically find out how the mean energy uh, varies with the length provided that system A uh, since we have system A is thermally isolated so this was an adiabatic interaction there is no heat flowing in or out of system A we would see that the change in the mean energy of the system in reference to this macro state A would be given by the work done on the system which is V times delta Q. So this would uh, basically allow us to calibrate our readings um, so we can obtain by changing the time interval in which we leave the switch closed uh, we can determine the change in the mean internal energy as a function of L so we can have a reading of the uh, change in internal energy that is the internal energy in reference to the macro state A which is the, uh, the thermal equilibrium situation before uh, the switch was uh, closed for the first time so basically uh, the internal energy basically is determined by uh, looking at the total energy of all the particles that make up the system in reference to its center of mass and when we talk about a reference macro state A with its corresponding mean internal energy then basically we can uh, calibrate all of our internal energy measurements in reference to this state for example, if we do an electrical measurement of internal energy, uh, just as we did in the electrical work example, where we have a battery that is connected to a resistor and a switch, when we close the switch, the current flows through the resistor and starts heating up uh, the, the water, and we can see this in the thermometer. System A consists of the resistor, water and the thermometer, uh, so basically this system is thermally isolated uh, we neglect heat flow uh, through the wires uh, between the battery and system A so we're going to have uh, the change in the mean internal energy only due to the electrical work done in the battery and this is going to be uh, as a function of the time interval in which we close the uh, we leave the switch closed uh, because the, the charge that's going to flow through the circuit is current times delta T and the current is just, uh, if you remember, uh, V over R. It's Ohm's law. It's going to be a constant current flow. And uh, depending on this delta T, we're going to have a different reading of L and the corresponding change in mean internal energy is just the electrical work done V times delta Q so we can calibrate our mean internal energy change in reference to the reference microstate EA uh, and we can find the dependence of mean internal energy on the length reading in the thermometer.